Welcome back, guys, to Minecraft on the PS4. I am Sovereign. Thank you so much for being back with me for yet another video in the series. And it is a pleasure to have you. Uh, so check it out. Check it out, guys. <clears throat> My goodness. I have, like, phlegm today. I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, I managed to uh, get that whole mountain busted down. So I'm very pleased, you know, to have it now. This is going to be awesome, guys. When I finish this, I'm going to be able to do most of this off camera, probably. I'm not going to subject you to that. You've already seen me make, like, one of every kind of building, basically. Um, well, you know, I didn't make a church. I'm sure there's another building I didn't do. I don't know. But, I mean, yeah, it's a, it's a lot to do, and I'm going to cover this whole tabletop here. So, I'm not, uh, not going to make you sit through that. But, um, yeah, this is what we've been able to do. So, right now, uh, I think his, his name was Dustin HD. He had a great suggestion, 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 Dustin, suggestion. Um, he had a really great suggestion, and I'm actually surprised I didn't think of it first, too, you know? I mean, it's really something I would have thought of, so I'm kind of surprised I didn't. But nonetheless, I'm glad he brought it up to me and brought it to my attention. I'm growing acacias up there now. I do have acacia stored up there as well, of course, but I'm not, uh, not wanting to use all of that. Um, so I'm growing new acacia. He mentioned that I should do some buildings in acacia wood as well the acacia style structures because it would help break up the colors and I mean you guys have heard me I have told you a million times like those exact tips you know how you want to break up patterns you want to break up the structure the colors of the structures you know and the block types and all that stuff um, and so yeah that was a really good idea thank you Dustin HD much appreciated man um, and so yeah what I'm doing is I am now growing um, you know, new acacias over there, so I'll be able to use the wood from those as well. And I'm going to mix acacia village structures in with the normal cobblestone plains village structures. Um, and I think it'll look really cool when I'm done. So thanks again, Dustin. That's awesome, dude. I'm loving the idea. Thank you so much for letting me know. Um, and by the way, guys, a lot of you ask me, you know, to do shout outs. So you got to understand, I get requests for shout outs all the time. I don't do that. Um,. Like, you know, I just did right now, but that that is pretty much the only time I do is when, uh, you know, somebody gave me a really good suggestion for something really cool or, you know, I just heard a, a skeleton. Hmm. Or, I don't know, you know, maybe like, you know, they did something really nice, such as this next per person, Ruth Opie. Uh, when I made a Survival Island video a couple videos back, I mentioned my friend Professor Magus and, you know, said maybe you guys should go check him out. That'd be really cool of you. Um, and Ruth did, and she, he sent me pictures on Twitter of, uh, screenshots he took of a, a Facebook conversation between the two of them, and she said some really sweet things to him, and that was so cool, um, so thank you, Ruth, I really appreciate you not only checking him out, uh, but you know what, being really kind and showing the true care of this community and your, your very, very sweet message to him. Uh, he's been having some difficult times this year, and you really made his day. You made him so happy. So thank you, Ruth. So guys, those are usually the times when I do shoutouts. It's things like that. Um, like, you know, just so I hope you understand. I don't just, you know, do shoutouts randomly. I mean, it's, you know, I just don't do that. I, I'm, you know, I'm really not the kind of guy to do that. I'm sorry. Where is it? Um, <laughs> I have collected a few more. I don't know where the heck it's at. Let's go down here. Um, I have collected a few more wither skeleton skulls, um, and so I have made an area to fight the wither again, um, and if I'm able to remember exactly where that area is, that would be phenomenal. Um, yeah, and then we'll do, uh, we'll do some uh, wither fights, and we'll get another, oh, cool. <laughs> and then we'll get another nether star and we'll be able to do our second beacon once I make the iron golem farm because it'll take me about 10 years to save up enough iron to do another beacon unless I have that farm. So I put that tunnel down here somewhere. Let me find it, guys. I'll come right back to you. Be right back. And all right, guys, here we are. I found it. Sorry about that. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. It only took a second for you to come back. I was looking for this for like 10 minutes. Ridiculous. Um, and I went back and I grabbed some more food, too, because I was, you know, running low on food. And um, got a potion, a couple potions of regeneration and a potion of night vision because it's going to get dark up in here. Uh, and, yeah, let's do this thing, guys. So. Dude, it freaking, like, takes forever to pick this up. Holy shnikes. I didn't know that. 
I mean, I never, like, really just set them on the ground. So I didn't know it would take that long. Okay, let's do our night vision potion. Okay, not so bright. There he is. Um, let him do his exploding away from me here. Uh huh. And get our regen potions ready. Whoa, that was super loud when he just did, dude. Holy freaking crap, man. Uh, hello. Oh my god. Oh, where is he? I'm fighting him solo this time without no iron golems. And I'm probably going to die. Huh. Yes. Oh, dude. Yeah, get some. Get some. That's what I'm talking about. Yo, solo that sun gun. All right, man. Awesome, dudes. That was definitely, you know, more challenging when I uh, than when I was doing it with the um, Iron Golems, but it's still not too challenging for the old Sov to deal with. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that was easy. Like, that was surprisingly easy, dudes. Oh, man. Cool. So, sweet. That's all done and over with. And I'm going to continue to do, you know, more. Uh, what is hmm, what is this here for? I think it was, God, I can't remember anything anymore, man. My my strip mine is too darn long. Uh, and then, of course, as you saw, it goes way down there. Um, yeah, so for those of you, you know, again, wondering where I'm getting all my diamonds, yeah, I've spent many an hour down here. Um, and yeah, oh, guys, I, I've said this already, but I just do want to say it again. Um, just, you know, to remind you and, and those of you that are new, if I don't reply to your comments... You know, before, it was because sometimes Google does not notify me. And that is still the case. So, you know, some of you, you know, will comment. And if Google does notify me, there's some I'm still not able to get to. Because YouTube has been doing this thing for a while now. Where when I go to the comment on the video to answer you, it fails to post my comment. And I've already logged out of Google Plus and YouTube and everything and tried that. Um, deleted my, you know, cookies and cache and all that. Not working. So I'm not able to do that for some reason. Um, and then that leaves me one other option. There is another way to view comments, and that is the comments section that only I have access to in my channel, my channel workings. Um, but you know, it doesn't, it, it doesn't really have a specific order that it'll do comments, and so I can't always find comments from you too that way. Um, so if I do not respond to you, I'm sorry. I either cannot find your comment, Google did not notify me that you commented, or what I'm actually having a problem with now is. Holy crap, there are so many of you guys that I'm it's it's becoming very hard for me to be able to answer you. And I mean, and I guess that's a good problem to have, but uh, you know, I mean, I really don't want to make anybody feel like I'm ignoring you. Um, so if I don't answer you guys, uh, it could be one of those three reasons, you know. Um, but I still promise I will do my absolute best to answer as many comments from you as possible. I did not expect to have this problem this early on, um, but all of a sudden you know there's a lot of you and you guys have a lot to say and that's fantastic i'm glad that you guys you know are chatty and stuff like that it's marvelous uh and also jordan dunn thank you milady for you know saying just posting a random comment today on a video and saying you know if you're reading this have a good day you know i mean i'd love to see stuff like that from you from all of you um but you know i think jordan and the with the exception of jordan and maybe like one other person who was so long ago i can't remember their name um i think you know those are the only people who've ever really done that who do that uh you know i i like that you guys talk to me that's really cool and i'm happy to talk to you but i really love when you guys talk to each other too i mean we're all in a community together get to know one another that's cool and some of you do um you know uh liam you do that too you communicate and talk with some of the other uh, viewers as well and I really love that you guys so please do feel free to talk with each other as well I mean you know you don't need to just talk to me this channel is not all about me it's about all of us so uh, you know thank you guys so it's it's really growing and I'm having such a fun time you know with it and, and communicating with you and getting to know you and meeting all of you again welcome to all the new subscribers it's very exciting to have you guys um, so now all right what I'm going to do is we need to do um, boink, some work on our villager transport. So, actually, you know what I need to do is go to sleep. Because I do not want the baddies making our day an awful one. So, um, yeah, I need to put the acacia wood back into our chests where we're building our village. So it's there when I need it. 
Um, yeah, and I'll keep the uh, cobble in the dirt on me. Hello, sir. Goodbye, sir. Okay, thank you. Good for the boost. Very cool. I mean, I'm going to have to go and hunt for some more ocelots soon, too, because um, I tried to breed my pigs the other day, and I only have, like, four of them. And when I went to breed them again, it said that I was at the max for breeding animals again, which is because there are too many ocelots now um, in the jungle once again. We're not lagging yet, but we are eventually going to, so I'm going to need to do something about that. Um, I, that's why I'm working on, you know, using my, uh, shears and just getting rid of and cutting through all of the, uh, leaves that have been on, sitting on the ground in the jungle. Um, cause again, if you're new and you're not sure exactly what is happening, the, um, the, there's like a chicken, several chickens actually. Chickens are spawning in one block by one block spaces underneath the leaves in the jungle. And so they're, you know, the leaves are a transparent block. So the ocelots are seeing the chickens through them leaves, and they're all gathering in huge numbers um, around those leaves. And then they're, you know, they're they're getting randy while they're there, so they're you know breeding and you know doing all these things. Uh, and it is lagging me so bad. So yeah, I'm gonna probably have another issue with that to deal with too soon. Uh, yeah, and so that's gonna be something that we're gonna have to, to deal with too. So now yeah, I have to uh, go into the jungle, find the ocelots again, and get rid of them too. I mean, I've murdered entire like clans of ocelots. You know, I've, I mean, I, <laughs> Peta is super mad at me right now. Let's just let's say it that way. <laughs> Peta do not like me, guys. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be, you know, I was talking about my villager transport the other day. I do need a way to get my villagers. You know, from here, the purifier, and again, if you're new and you don't know what that is or you haven't seen it yet, I will take you up and I will show you. Uh, let me get this wall done here really quick, too, so we don't have to worry about it. And ta-da, oh, <laughs> ta-da, whoops. Um, you can hear the villagers all thinking very, very contemplatively up here, so... Mm, so this is our villager purifier. And again, if you are new, you might not know what this is, so I will show you. Um, we have a zombie spawner down here, and I have this room inside lit up, so they do not spawn in here. Uh, and then what we do is we have it so there's a uh, pressure plate next to these lights, uh, these uh, redstone lights, lamps, whatever they're called. Uh, whoops, that was the wrong place to do that. Oops. Right here. Cool. Now we got it. Um, like, and so, what you do is, you know, you use this lever, there's a sticky piston and a slab, and you do that, um, you can't tell right now because I have a potion of night vision on, but it's pitch black in there, here we go, starting to wear off, um, it's pitch black in there, and so when zombies do spawn, they only spawn in these one little hole, these one little, um, areas, and then when they do spawn in there, the light comes on and it lights it up, so no more will spawn in there, so you don't accidentally get two, which will complicate things. Um, and then if I do get a zombie villager to spawn in there, then I have stuff in this chest that I can use to cure them. Um, and then, so we do actually have three in here right now. There, there, and there. Now, while I'm trying to do this transportation system, I have all these flipped up because I do not want any more zombies to spawn and complicate my scenario here. So... Now, um, what we're going to try and do somehow is I have marked with dirt blocks the underside of where each zombie holding area is. So, the, you know, the villagers are in these areas too, right above us. Um, and what I'm going to try and do is like wire up a minecart system to sit underneath the zombie villagers or the villagers when they're cured, actually. Um, and then I can drop, I can push like a button or whatever, you know, and uh, cause a piston to open the floor. Um, and then it'll drop the villager into a minecart, and I will be able to then get the minecart up top where we're making our custom village. Um, so that is what I'm going to try and do. I've never done anything like this before. Um, and again, those of you that have been with me for a while, you know I am not too savvy with the redstone work. Um, so yeah, it's going to be interesting. It'll be very interesting to do. So I'm going to finish these walls up, guys, and I will be right back with you momentarily. Alright guys, welcome back. 
Um, so now what I'm going to have to do is it's going to complicate things just a little bit um, because since I'm going to be moving these floorboards now, these small well, floorboards, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> since I'm going to be moving the, the stone floors now out beneath the villagers, uh, you know, it is going to mean that I'm not able to have those pressure plates there. Um, so the light will not go on. And I've also decided to kill these villagers. Um, and you know why? Because. <laughs> um... You know they don't they don't really do good trades. Um, I've already tested them out and they don't have good trades, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, well, you know we'll get more new villagers here soon, and that's all right, no problem there. Oop, you know what I'm gonna do here? Let's get these up again. Um, no, like that here. Um, like that. So yeah, um, we're gonna get we'll just get new villagers here. So. Now we can do everything. Well, that's not right. There we go. Cool. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, dude, this, uh... Hmm. Yeah, that's not right. What am I... Hold on. I need to fix this. All right. Come here. And cool. There we go. All right, dudes, continuing on. And so we need to get rid of all these. Okay, cool, there we go. And um, break through that. I didn't need to break those, but it keeps cutting through because it's a little too quick. Wait, what do I have here? Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't do all of them. Oops. Oh, I actually need to do that one too. Don't want a zombie spawning in there. That wouldn't be cool. And especially if it was a zombie villager too. It'd feel like a big waste. And cool. excuse me, bat. Like, dude, I hate bats so much, man. They're so annoying. They're freaking pointless mobs. Darn it. Um, cool. Oh, do do. All right. And now let me put these away here so we can do some work on this. Uh, get these out. Alrighty. Um, wait. I know I I do have some pistons down here. That's what I'll need. Let's get rid of that. Just one like that. All right. Let's put all those away here. And some pistons. Um, well, we might as well do this here too. Not completely sure exactly how I'm gonna set this up now, guys. I am again, I am no genius at uh, the redstone game. So, <laughs> all right. And. Cool, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to tear this open like that. I'll put the... Nope, piston's got to go here to do what it needs to do. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to do like this. No, not like that. Jesus. Like that. And cool. Oh, dude, it's got to be sticky. That's not what I'm looking for. I need sticky piston. Was I smart enough? to bring slime balls if not then oops my bad and i'll go have to grab some really quick so oh dude i did and it was because i wasn't sure if i was going to need sticky pistons and honestly i don't really know why i wasn't sure about that of course i'm going to need sticky pistons um <clears throat> excuse me yeah and so i just brought pistons and slime balls can i make sticky pistons without yes good cool and apparently i was prepared for that too awesome dude yeah, I'm, I'm impressing myself here. I actually remembered some stuff. <laughs> All right. Uh, now, we're going to um, place like that. And then we're going to... Let's move our axe here. Have like that. Um, get rid of this here. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to do... I'm going to do different color blocks for Al for this. Um, because that way I'm going to know which blocks are my floor blocks. Uh, and then they're not the same as all the other ones, so I know exactly where I'm trying to go with this stuff to do it. Alright, cool. And let's do a quick little test. Just make sure it picks them both up like it's supposed to. Yes, like that. Cool. And so it does do what we want it to do here. And let's drop down a uh, kerplonk. And, uh, yep, there she is. So, mm, let's do this. I should put a charge through that. Cool. 
And uh, we're going to leave it activated just like that. Um, so it stays forward and keeps them from falling through the floor. Now they'll each have their own lever. So, And let's do this all the way around it. And, um, you know what? Actually, how are we going to do this one like that? Hmm. No worries. No, we'll get there. Don't worry. Uh, yeah, right here, like that. Yep. Oh, not a sticky. Dude, what am I doing, man? Move you. We need... Oh my goodness, I can't do anything. Here, we need a sticky piston here. And we'll do another one here. Whoops. Oh my god, I'm breaking it all. I'm breaking everything. There we go. Sticky piston. Alright. I'm going to do this all the way around. Be right back. Alrighty. Uh, we need to... Where are the levers? There they are. Get some levers on here. Uh, I'm going to go inside to do that. And, nope. Got to do this. And right here. I'm forgetting all of the stuff here. Um, and what I had to do was... Um, you know, it wouldn't... Uh, well, I'll explain it in just a second here. Just a second, guys. Just a second. <laughs> right there. Um, uh, I don't know. That'll have to work, too. So, whatever. It's not going to be the most beautiful thing, but it's cool. And, uh, you know, when I made this, I wasn't planning to, you know, actually do this. So, uh, things happen. That's all right. No big. Uh, let's see right here. Just like that. Cool. Um, so now, what I had to do actually was, um, you know, the, the way that the um, the chambers for catching the zombies were so close together, um, I had to, I was, I'm only able to do two sides of it, this side and then that side. Because, um, you know, the, uh, the other side here, like around this corner, there was another chamber right here. Uh, and so obviously that would be an issue. Because, you know, that takes up the space. So, um, I'm only going to be able to... Oops. I'm only going to be able to use two sides of this. But that's fine. You know, I mean, it is a minor inconvenience. And it'll do what it does a little more slowly. Um, but you know what? It is no big deal. It'll still do what we need it to do. Uh, and once I get a few villagers up there, it will do, you know, most of the work, I think. Pretty much on its own. So, I think we're good here. That, that should be cool. Um, yeah. So, now, all we need to do is get everything back in place here. You know, I need to get this. Take that and put it there. And uh, like this right here. Two. So like that. Yes. And I'm out. I'm all out of the bricks. So that's cool. We do this right here. And right here. And right here. And right here. Cool. And do this get this chamber set back up again all right and now uh, you know we might not actually be able to finish this all today guys but if you know if not no big deal um i just need to you know at least get you know most of it set up here but i think we might be able to and if not um again no big deal we'll be able to do some more finishing touches on it so we'll finish it next time or another time before that after that i mean or maybe i can just do all the rest of it off camera it's not a big deal so i'm not too worried about it. Let me grab these blocks here. Um, cool. All right, now, great. Let's do this here. Sweet. So it does work. It'll do what I want it to. Um, so and now let me see here. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna have to like move this chest. Let me get a little more organized, guys. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So now what I'm gonna do is a little of this. You know, and I'm going to have to straighten it out a little more off camera or something. You know, I'm going to have to, like, maybe put another wall here or something. Make it look, you know, normal. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and I might actually have to push these walls back a block, too. So, I'm going to, you know, be able to have enough room to do anything down here. Because um, now I'm only going to have a single block of room to, to work with. And I might need to do a little bit more than that here. So, I'm going to... Because, um, you know, what I want to be able to do here with this is make sure the villagers go into the carts. And so I'm going to direct them to the cart with these and make sure they fall where I want them to. So do this here. 
And um, we'll need two blocks of space for them to come out. So, yeah, right up here, do that. So we'll separate them like that. Whoops. So touch. And let's see here, do that. It's gonna block the door, but oh well. Again, I'm gonna have to do a little work in with this to make it uh, make it right again. It's all good though. And now, since I'm only gonna use these two sides, what I'll do is just have these doors for access in the middle. Um, you know, as if I'll really need to do too much in there, I don't think, anyway, so that should be fine. Let's see, uh, yeah, and then right here, so we're only gonna have, like, a side complete, but again, that's cool. Not, uh, not too worried about it, so, and this is, you know, this is me we're talking about, guys, the redstone flunky here, so I'm, you know, I got stuff to learn, but it's cool, I'm going to, I'm gonna learn, you know. I mean, the best way to learn is to do, and I am doing, so, hey, we'll get there, we'll get there soon. All right, give me my glass. Yeah. Dude, these um these freaking torches, man. They're like getting in my way. And I keep hitting the hitboxes and then I put the torches where I don't want to. And I'm getting just a little bit annoyed with that. So There we go. Move this here and move that one. Like this. Mm huh? Cool. And do that. And that. And that. All right, almost done. I do. Am I going to have enough to do this? Very cool. I think I'm actually, yeah, I had enough to. Awesome. I didn't think I was going to. Sweetness. And I do love when a plan comes together, huh, guys? <clears throat> um, now, cool. Now, um, what we need to do is powered rail down in each one of these little chambers for my guys so there we go cool and undo that here so I'll do that um, I'm gonna have to have a way to actually power these rails too um you know I was wanting to do that with a button um, but I'm really not gonna be able to so because you know if I put a button there or down there um, the cart and the dudes will be in the way so um hmm and you know that's cool. I'll do I'll do something off camera. You know I'll figure out a I'll do like a button right here maybe. You know I'll remove this piece of glass, um, and I'll do a button here, and I'll run some redstone just to that. So that'll work. And... Doo -doo -doo. And... Yeah, no, that's cool. I'll figure something out. I don't know. I'll I'll figure something out. Um, all right, and so then. Um, what I'll need to do is get some regular rails here. And I'm going to have to figure out exactly where I want this to come up at. So now, um, that's something I will definitely have to do off camera. I'm going to figure out exactly where I want this to come up, and I'm going to have to direct the rails that way. So I'm going to need to do... Dude, dang torch, it's in my freaking way. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm going to need to do a little bit of preparation for that stuff off camera too as well. So, um, you know what we'll have to do? We'll have to come back to this project another time to finish it once I do all the rest of the things I need to do and make sure I know exactly where I'm going with it. So, I think this video has gone on long enough, guys. I think that is going to do it for today. Uh, and we'll, again, we'll finish this some other time. I'm going to have to do some stuff off camera so that I know exactly where I want this to come up to and, you know, make sure my villagers dump off at the right spot. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, Thank you and uh, welcome to all the new subscribers, guys. You're awesome. Thank you so much for being here with me. I'm excited to have you and I hope you enjoy it. We have a really great, caring community here. I've tried very hard to keep it that way. So, um, you know, let's try hard, everybody, to keep it just so. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Take it easy. And if it's already easy, again, I've said it before, take it twice. All right, guys, I'll see you. We have a zombie somewhere. Bye-bye. <laughs>